guys of a different light. <clears throat> okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Today, I'm here to talk about beauty. Because even though you guys can see, um, I need some help with my hair. Now, I do gotta say, today's my hair wash day. So after I finish working out, I just put on makeup so I can come and talk to you guys. Um, so my hair does need a washing, so it does look kind of hectic, right? But I also want, because I'm gonna bleach my roots, I wanna prepare my hair to be strong enough for the bleaching. I think most people in general know, by now, 90 Day Fiance, the reality show. But me and Luz had heard about Big Ed and Rose. And some of you already know about this. <laughs> so Big Ed and Rose, they were in 90 Day Fiance before the 90 Day. So I had heard from like PewDiePie. Um, I'm trying to remember the other channels. I'll put a, a, a montage of channels who have done a video on this already. You can see I am the one who's late. I'm always late for everything, so that's not a shocker. But I thought some of you probably haven't heard about this story yet, so I would still talk about it. So I went on YouTube and I just watched somebody upload all just the clips of Big Ed and Rose. So I watched all of those and I was just like, Ooh. If you don't know the 90 Day Fiance, people meet a person somehow overseas um, in other countries or they meet them online so they've already kind of had a talking relationship or even a boyfriend girlfriend long distance relationship and so now the story is that they want to go and grab they want to go and get their boyfriend girlfriend and bring them over to America now you can bring your boyfriend and girlfriend to America with a fiance visa which allows you 90 days to get married before the visa expires and your boyfriend or girlfriend significant other has to go back to their country here as you guys can read from the title in one of the videos you will see Big Ed has a DIY hair tip to make your hair more sexier because I mean who can get more sexy than Big Ed show me who tell me who okay so I thought I would try it and the only thing you need for this DIY is a jar of mayo he had best food mayo that's like the fancy mayo that's like the the one that you know your middle-class friends have but I grew up poor so I had dollar store mayo okay so we're gonna start with the first episode um, all the playlists I watched before have deleted videos now because TLC is coming after the people but that is okay. So we are going to watch. The first episode is called Meet Big Ed. Shake it out. Perfect. Okay, let's go. Hello, stop it. Oh my god. Ouch, ouch. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm Ed. I'm 54 years old. People know me as Big Ed. Nice. I'm from San Diego, California. And I am a professional photographer. Oh my god. Right there. Right there. Big Ed is living the dream. He is a photographer. He lives in San Diego. He's, you know, I don't know. I think like, what a life, you know? Mm. Beautiful. That's perfect. Oh my God. Nice, oh. nice. Nice, hold on. I actually gave myself the name Big Ed. Perfect. Because I have a huge personality and it makes me feel tall. That's the money. Right. I'm actually 4'11", not in heels. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Jokester, you guys know right away that Big Ed has a big personality, lives in San Diego, is a photographer, and he jokes. Like, his jokes are everything, you know? <laughs> no. My height is something that I'm very self-conscious of, but it's something that I've been able to overcome because I'm Big Ed. Your guys are great. Thanks again. Thanks again. You're welcome. You guys are awesome. Maybe I should give myself a nickname. Maybe I should be Tall Ale. Because, you know, I can't say I'm big because I'm already big and that's kind of make me, kind of makes me feel uncomfortable and maybe like I don't appreciate myself. So, Tall Ale will be my new nickname. Good boy. I cannot think about my life without Teddy. Love you, buddy. He's somebody that I can talk to. He's somebody that listens. I'll always have you. I'll always have my... 
Who's a good boy? My track record with relationships is not very good. I was married for two years, and it didn't work out because I was unfaithful. Mm -hmm. Drink some more water. Yeah, people are saying he cheated on his wife. Come on. It was just a stupid mistake. But I did get a beautiful daughter out of that marriage, Tiffany. She's 29 years old. We are pretty much two peas in a pod. She His daughter is very beautiful, as you guys can see. Um, and so that's good. Yeah, he made a mistake, and that cheating is a mistake. And he paid the consequences. Okay. Now let's move on to the next one. The next one I see here that was not deleted is Ed uses mayo for his hair. So I think we're about to start. In a few days, I'm getting ready. Whoa, we just saw him in a row with his hair pulled back, looking like Mulan. Okay. Plane and go meet Rose, the love of my life, for the very first time. I'm super excited because I also bought a ring. And I plan... I also... <laughs> I just assume he had Best Foods mayo, but they don't have a label, obviously, because, you know, TLC does not want to get sued or does not want to pay for rights, um, which is fine. I will also blur out my brand of mayo, so you guys have no idea what I'm using. Um, so I'm going to rip this <laughs> label off because I don't want to get sued either, right, TLC? Right? Because I don't have... I don't, I really don't have money to give to another company. Um, so anyway, you need mayo, <laughs> off brand or on brand. You need a spatula if you want, optional. You need gloves, optional, and a hair tie or a liga. So he grabbed this mayo out with a spatula, but I'm not gonna do that. So I usually have vegan mayo, which is actually really good and tastes like regular mayo, but the smell is so much different. And this smells like eggs, guys. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't love that smell mayo, but I do love freaking mayo. Okay, so, so I'm gonna grab it with my hands. And he just went for it. He really So we'll see what magic we can Get with this okay ed and rose finally meet that's the next episode just so you guys know he went to uh the philippines because she's from the philippines to go see her so he's at the airport waiting uh for her to come for him but they're gonna stay it's like a city she lives in a village but they're in the city and also if you guys wonder what this is i have these weird like um uh, color what do they call them like dark spots around my neck i've tried to get rid of them for a long time hopefully once i get back to work i'm going to make it a priority to go to the doctor um or a dermatologist to see what it's about so anyway he's waiting for her um at first i was confused because when she shows up she has a suitcase but it's because they're staying in the city before going to her village this is so intense they're meeting for the first time in real life he hasn't told her he's 411 so Oh my god. <laughs> She's so sweet. She's like screaming, squealing. That you. Uh, mm. What? Uh. <laughs> Am I what you expected you like? I expected you're told to me. But oh, more talk. <laughs> okay, so TLC has a way of um, cutting and editing things where they make things really awkward, especially in this one um, relationship couple. They make these awkward pauses where I don't know if it's like totally them or it's her trying to think of what she's gonna say because she doesn't speak English. First language is not English. So I don't ever know if it's TLC making it awkward because they gotta make it awkward or if it's her, but. I'm just in a swarm of hot, sweaty people. Right now, oh, it's no. probably over 100 degrees. I'm sweating my ass off right now. <laughs> 
I feel that. I feel that. Oh, I go anywhere. I'm sweating like crazy and it's so embarrassing. I feel like it's more embarrassing for a girl to sweat than a guy. I don't know. Um, might just be my imagination, but summers are like summers in Arizona. We don't go to Mexico anymore because we are just sweating the whole time. I want to buy your dress with flowers. Oh, you want to buy a shirt with flowers? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, so how much? 480, sir. 480, how much is that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ooh. He does not like that she's trying to take money out of his wallet. I'm not comfortable with um, Rose grabbing my money because that's not what you do. Thank you, thank you. I think it's borderline, you know, inappropriate. And I well, I also think it's a little inappropriate to lie to someone about your height, which is such a crazy lie because it's not even that bad of, like, a thing. Like, just tell her before you love I'm sure she would have still... You know, been like okay with that. We have questions about her sister because you know she asked me for money. Her sister texted me the other night. She basically said, you know, I need help. My store is going to close, and she's asking me for money. Oh my gosh! So that's another thing is uh, Rose's sister has uh, sent a big ad a message saying she needed money for her store. She asked for seventy five dollars, yeah. according to someone. Oh. Um, and she told him not to tell Rose about it. So that's why he's also kind of off put by that. So she won't talk about her past, like how many boyfriends she had in the past, um, any type of things like, uh, love, romance, sexually, because he also wants to know that, which is fine. Your new partner needs to know that, right? But... Um, she doesn't want to tell him. She thinks the past is in the past. There's no point in any of that. But he just keeps nagging her about it, nagging her about it. And I'm sorry, you know, I'm not going to spend want, the rest of my life with somebody I can't trust. You want to know who's the father's your prince? It's in my own, her life. Her life is her own, her baby, her own wife. He has such a trust issue when he's lied about the vasectomy and about his height. Like, you have nowhere, you have no stance, no stance. He just, poor girl. Two boyfriends, it, it's her to me. So I, we, I live, I live. I don't have any voice anymore with that's all. This, this is all I wanted was what you just said. It's right there. It's she didn't want to say it's embarrassing. I'm sure it's embarrassing to talk about your failed. How about him? Why doesn't he tell her about his failed? Maybe he did. I wonder if he told her. I wonder if he told her, hey, I used to have a wife and I cheated on her. So we broke up. Like, does she know? Because if I knew, I'd be a little scared. She's mad, obviously. She's mad. She takes off. And Big Ed. Big sexy boy Ed. Okay. He says the line that breaks my heart and talks to my soul at the same time. I've been in love so many times. I've never had a boyfriend, but I have been in love so many times with people. And uh, it obviously doesn't work because I'm weird. <laughs> but she gets a taxi and she leaves to a different hotel. He gets her a different hotel apparently. And so she leaves. And uh, this is the where he delivers the best line ever. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Ugh, Ed, Ed. Oh, he is not, I know, he's very upset. You walked fast. I don't know. Okay, but I... I feel you. I feel my home. What do you um, say? Well, what do you say? Well, where are the windows? I'm excited naman ako na makita ni yung babuyan dito. Here, can I put these on my feet? Yeah. Kaya lang parang hindi siya handa dahil kasi yung nakasapatos pa siya. 
Okay, yeah, hold on. Oh, take care yourself. Okay. Right there, okay. These are the Planet of the Apes. Um, Hunger Game monkeys. You know those Hunger Game monkeys that want to eat you alive. Yeah, this is not... These aren't cute monkeys. But all monkeys, all animals are precious. And their lives, you know, they deserve great lives, so. Now it is nighttime and they're back at the hotel. And he's about to tell Rose about the baby. Oh, he just told her. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Maybe it says in the last episode. Let's go look. Wow, fancy dinner time. I contacted the hotel and told them I want the most romantic table in this resort. Big Ed is pulling all the guns. Take me there. So I don't know where that part is, but he tells her he doesn't want babies. Right? He doesn't want babies. She's like, well, I told you, so I'm going to leave you time to think. He's like, there's nothing to think about. I don't want babies. So after all of that going on, what happens? Well, let's see the ending. Please change your behavior because you another see another girl and I think you give her again what you hurt me. So she just told him, you know what, I'm out, I'm done. Like, you keep lying to me. You lied about not wanting to have babies. You lied about your weight. You shamed me about my hair. You shamed me about my breath. You know, you thought yeah. you couldn't trust me. She's like, I am done and change yourself because when you find another girl, you're not gonna be happy either. Which I've been saying, he needs to just get some help if he wants a real relationship. I'm sure there's a lot of girls right now in his, in his DMs telling him they want him. So he just needs to change his behavior and he'll find someone. And I'm a bad person, okay? Yeah. All right. So you think I'm bad. I'm just, I'm a bad person, okay? Yeah. And that's it. He walks away sad and he's disappointed. He doesn't know why this happened. She goes back home. I just wanted to end this in with the best quote ever. What just happened? I don't know. But I do not believe in love. I think it was 10 times better, easier to brush it. Um, it feels nicer. I just don't know. I feel like it does work. Obviously, mayo in the hair is not a new concept. It's been around for a while. People do it all the time. But I think it did work. I'm very happy to share this video with you guys. Hope you had fun, and I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>